In this video, we're going to see what useful helpers are there in Talent. Especially if you're still new with Talent, this is hopefully of use for you. We're going to talk through on these things that I uh, mentioned here in a note component in this job, which is called helper. Okay, we're having a look at it here directly in Talent Open Studio. This component is what is called a help component. So it's like a small post-it. Uh, that you can uh, put in your job to write some text there, uh, like here, and the explanation or the notes on what I actually wanted to tell you. Okay, if you want in this component, the note component is certainly the only one you can only, only find uh, in the palette. Okay, you find it here, you put it in your job, and you can uh, change the text, right? And you can change its size, its position, etc. Okay. And especially at the beginning, it is probably helpful if you want to add components uh, to your job. Uh, if you just use the palette as such, okay. If you say, okay, I now want to read from a database. You probably open the category database here. And you say, okay, I've got a specific database, which is, let's say, MS SQL Server. So I search for that and then I say, okay, I want to read from this database and, and then reading in talent is an input. So you place this component in your job, okay? And the other way around is once you already know the components or you already know where to go, you say, okay, I want to output something on the console, which is this component here. You can search for log R, which turns up here the log row component and then not double clicking on this one but on this one to insert it into your job okay and if i now wanted for example to use the log row component a second time in my job i can also go ahead and simply here select it and control c and control v to paste it and the advantage here is that I will copy and paste the component also between jobs, not only in the same job, with its complete configuration. You see that here, um, if I insert the local component new, it has another label below, okay, below the icon, and it has a basic mode, not a table mode, okay. But if I copy and paste this component again, you see it has the same label. And it has the same setting for the mode, which is a table in this case. Okay. It obviously receives another name because internally in talent, it has to have a unique name. So you can't use the label you show in the interface. Okay. All right. And then if we want to connect two components, for example, here, this components, buff, this component buffer input reads and data from memory and I want to output this data on the console, I can just take this little O here on the buffer input component and drag and drop that to our console output component. So they are connected and they are passing the data from here to here. Okay, all right. So, and then another thing, if I am just building the job, I would need something which is called a schema, okay? Let's look here at the top at the first component, the fixed flow input component, which just creates a fixed input of a data. It always has a schema, right? And this is, it can be edited here by using the edit schema button. And this schema I can connect, uh, I can uh, select uh, with control A, copy with control C. Then I go out here and let me input this buffer input component again. And this buffer input component, component, when it's new, it does not have a schema. So I can do control V and paste the schema. And, and this is the way to uh, have the same schema as here and respectively read the same data from memory. And then I connect the, with a right click on the fixed input component, the trigger on sub job OK to this buffer input component. Why? Because I want this sub job, this small uh, unit of my uh, job to be executed completely before uh, down here I try to read from memory, right? Because here, above here it says write memory and below I want to say again, read memory. 
All right, then we output the data to the console and we can execute the job by running it using F6 on our keyboard instead of going to the run tab and pressing run itself. Okay, so you now get the result without having me clicked on that, but using F6. Then if there's a change in my job, for example, I just move a component around, I see it has unsafe changes with this asterisk here and with this active and simple. So I can use control S and to save a job at any time, especially useful if it's several steps until you can actually execute your process or somewhere in between, you maybe have to leave and you want to save your work just in case. All right, you can also duplicate a job if you want to use this one, for example, or any other job as a template for a next one. Duplicate means basically a copy and paste of a job. If I clicked on duplicate, I can give it a new name and just click on OK. What basically talent will do, it's creating a complete copy of it with, in this case, a default name, which you can obviously uh, change. Okay, that's also very useful. Then these connections here between components, we can change these names because otherwise they are default names. Okay, let me clear the interface again so you can see that. For example, I can uh, say here sample uh, data. Okay, uh, have in mind here that in these uh, connections, I can't use uh, spaces or other special characters because those labels are directly used in code, in the code that Talent produces from what we're um, building here in our job designer. Okay, and here as well with a delayed double click or say a little bit time in between the first and the second click, I can uh, change this label, for example, read uh, memory. Okay. All right, uh, what else did I say? I already said that, right? I click in the designer and the type ports of the name of a component I want to insert and press enter to insert any component like I just did with a message box. If I don't know really well what the component does, I can look at its tooltip, for example, here in the palette or uh, on the component itself once it's placed in my job, right? place it on my job, the MS SQL input, and I go to F1. And this opens a page for me uh, where it shows its properties, a brief description, and in most cases also a related scenario, which is a use case, an example of how to uh, use in this uh, component, right? And I can obviously also remove that by just uh, pressing the delete button when the component is selected. All right, and one last thing, if maybe this sub job you want to hide it for some reason, maybe if you don't have uh, very much space on your screen, you can go to this green horizontal bar here, which converts to plus and hides away the rest of the sub job uh, just, and just keeps showing in the first component, okay? The same here. All right, and this is a lot of theory. Try it out uh, to get familiar with it. And that's uh, some useful, from my point of view, the most useful tips to getting started with talent. And in the next uh, videos, we're getting our hands and duty by working uh, more in talent itself.